Hey guys, welcome to Tad's Story Review with John. If you guys are new to our channel, click on the upside down robot or the red subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. Also be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss the fun. So, Tad, what do we have today? We're back with a, another beast box. Ooh, Ooh, Stargazer, who is? How did this world? Right. I guess, Stargazer? Or is he in this world gazing? Stargazer. He's a Stargazer? So let's go ahead and zoom, zoom in, in and check it out. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are all zoomed in with our Beast Box Stargazer BB22. He is a Brontosaurus. Love the artwork right here. And don't forget, we're talking about toys from 52 Toys. Yep, this is by 52 Toys. We got the Beast Box logo on the top. Love that logo. This side we have our Beast Mode and our Box Mode. Right, very cool. We're going to see that in a minute. Yep. The other side we have our animated picture of him. Very cool. Awesome. And the back we show our little disclaimers and warnings. And then him in Beast Mode on both sides, Box Mode, and his weapon. Cool. Very cool. So let's go ahead and get him out of here. Let's do it. So here he is out of the box, looking really cool. We're going to get to him in just a sec, but here is his cube. Love the cubes. Just like all the other cubes. Very, very cool. And then here is his little weapon that he comes with. What's really cool about their weapons are that they're little bugs. So if you can see, this is kind of like a wasp. Yep. So it kind of fits into like the whole like robot theme that everything is a robot slash a box slash a you know, or whatever. Something organic. Yeah, I think it looks really, really cool. Yeah. Get to that in just a sec. Okay. We have our instruction book. Okay. And they have our little card and other little pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. I love that it comes with a really nice quality card. Yep, so our spider that we did in our last video, if you guys have not seen that, we'll link it right up here. Perfect. Um, Eros, he did not have a card. And we're thinking it's because he is one of the smaller boxes now even though the beasts are all the same size and roughly the same price the packaging was a bit different he was in a smaller package he came in a box versus in a beast mode but he didn't have a card okay so i think that that's why he was our first one we opened right i don't remember that's why i'm really excited about this because i didn't i didn't see one of the last yeah, yeah. so this is our art card for stargazer okay has our really cool picture on the front and the back, we have some stats and some additional information about him. Kind of a quick little bio. Okay. It's very, very cool. Yeah, that's great. And then we also get our little piece of plastic that you're supposed to fold in half, stick in the back of the box, and it how that helps spring your your box out of the container. Which again, as we told you last time, we don't do because the box opens up pretty much on its own. Yeah. And this sort of is a little little wonky little yeah wonky. it forces it out too much when it's not really needed so we don't use this and then we also get our our little collector's guide or additional you know ones to collect right little poster thingy it's got all of our other beasts on there yeah that's really this this poster is really nice yep there's a bunch more that we plan on getting and we have a few more coming so definitely stay tuned we have a ton more coming guys yeah we really do all right so the way he works he's got a little buttony tab right here you're going to push that up okay. which is going to push these guns out Ooh. so if you want to have these side guns out that is how you get those out okay and then this part pops up right here yes and this is little guns on their own okay and it can twist all the way around yeah and they also have their own ball joint so you can move them around with on their own platform kind of however you want oh that's really cool and then your little weapon your little wasp has a little I think it's a five millimeter socket right here and you can pretty much put that in any of these holes so you can put it on his neck you can put it on the holes that are on the back of these guns. Yeah. You can put it um, on his feet. Yeah. So there's there's several places you can put it, which now, is really cool. Now, does the tail have a hole slot for it? Uh, the tail does not, but the tail does have its own guns. So that rotates up like this. That is really cool. Yep. It also spins. So, you know, if you got that, you don't want to shoot like this. You'd be shooting the back of your head, but you can go like pew pew. Right. <laughs> off to the side and shoot, which I think is really, really cool. 
So you can kind of position it, you know, wherever you need. You can get some really cool action poses from him. His mouth also opens up, which I think is fantastic. Yeah. And then his head is on a ball joint, so you can kind of move it around, which I think is really cool as well. It gives some extra expression. It really does. Now to transform him, mm -hmm. you're going to push your little guns back in. Okay. You're going to flatten these back out, one on each side. Okay. And then you start with his head, you spin it, and you rotate it down like so. And then all the way down back here. Okay. His tail rotates down. Yep. Like so. Uh-huh. Okay. So now you kind of see you're making like a 90 degree angle. Yeah. And then his legs push this way. They push back a bit. So they don't slide much, just a little bit. They just slide back onto the body. Yep. So then his legs fold in. And there's a little tab right here that they just kind of slot into. Okay. And this folds in right there in this little cutout right there. Oh, cool. Yep. Do the same on the other side. This one that goes like this. Goes into the little divot. Yep. And this one folds down right there. Okay. And he doesn't have like a solid. You can kind of see how the pieces line up. Like so. This lines up right here. You just got to kind of play with it. Zhuzh it a little, yeah. To kind of get it in all the slots that it's supposed to go into. Because it just kind of nests there. It doesn't actually lock in. But it is more or less kind of precise. Right, exactly. It's it's precise. It just doesn't click in or lock in like some of the other ones might okay. do. But there he is. That's and, really... That <laughs> That's really amazing. Yeah, and then you just slide in his box. And there he is. That's he's, so cool. He's inside. Now, one of my only complaints about him is we have this weapon that okay. doesn't fit in there with him. Oh, bummer. I know. I love a good weapon slot or a hidden weapon slot. I would like to see ways to make their little weapons fit in the boxes with them cleaner. Yeah. I, I like for everything to fit and store up nicely. On second note, John actually pointed out that this little part right here kind of bows out or is... It's it's sort of like a di it cuts in diagonally on the bottom. And so I just got my smarts about me and I said, oh, well, what if we try this? And, and boom, he... it fits. Perfect. <laughs> so I take my little complaint back. That fits in there really, really nicely. But... I believe not every weapon fits, correct? Is that? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I wouldn't imagine. It would have to be one of these little flat weapons that would fit in there. Okay. So, now, he came with a bonus. Yes, what's the bonus? The bonus is a set of these para weapons. Ooh, okay. Yep, so these are also by 52 Toys, and these are little bugs, just like our other bug, that are weapons. Okay. So we're going to take them out and check them out. Let's do it. So these are little bugs as well as weapons. This one is actually a drone. That's cool. Yep, he's like a little beetle-ish type character. And then we have, this is kind of like a cricket or grasshopper, but it's also a gun, see? Yep, oh, Beep. that's so cool, yeah. yeah. And then this one is maybe a frog or something? Can I give me frog vibes? Let's see what it, oh yeah, it looks... A frog or some kind of like, you know... Maybe another grasshopper type. Amphibian-ish kind of thing. Yeah, it could be a grasshopper. I can't tell. Yeah. But it's also a gun, so that's really cool. It could be a grasshopper. Yep, and this one is, I think, a bee. That's cool. Yep, so there's this little And stinger. it becomes a BB gun. <laughs> yeah, it does. Now, you can see... Actually, you can see right what they are right here. We have our, oh. our little beetle drone thing. Yeah. Grasshopper. I also think it's like a frog. Looks like a frog to me. Yep. Anyways, not only are they individual weapons that can click into any of the 5mm posts, okay. but they also can combine to make a super weapon. So you can combine them in any order you want, but they have this guy on top. Like... Like so. Right. Then they have one of these back here. It doesn't really matter. 
right there. Yeah. And then this one can go on either side. We'll put it on this side for now. And now you have a bigger, more powerful weapon. It's pretty cool. I That's love really cool. this. Love the concept of them actually being like bugs. I feel like that makes them fit even more right. into the Beast Box world. I like the modular feel of them. You can mix and match and connect them any way you want, including on your actual um, Beast Box. Yeah, they're really cool. Really, really like those. Yeah. Those were free with this guy. I don't know if they come with anyone else, but they were free with this purchase. Okay. We purchased this from Big Bad Toy Store. We will link that in the description box for you guys in case you want to check them out. Yes, we will. So I also wanted to show you how a second one connects. Again, this is Arrows. This is our first beast box. So there's two ways. There's this way right here. You just kind of connect them. So connect them side by side. Side by side. Right. Like so. Or you can stack them. They stack with the these parts. So I think that's really cool. And they really connect. Like, they're on there. I mean, they're not... Oh, yeah, you have to pull them apart. Yeah, they're on there pretty good. So I really like that. I think that's really cool that you can display them that way. All right, guys. So there he is in all his glory. I am so happy to have him and add him to our collection. I think he's great. I love the color. Yeah, he's got a really cool color to him. I mean, you know me. I don't know much about toys. But what I have to <laughs> say is what I see is what I like. And I love the yellow with that tealy blue or that aqua aquamarine mm -hmm. if you will and i love the posability i love his expressions i love that it's versatile i like that it's just so much playability with this yeah all right guys that was it for this video if you guys like watching us put this beast back in his box give us a big thumbs up below and again if you're not a subscriber click on the upside down robot or the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel also, be sure to check us out on Instagram for more Beast Box fun. Links to those accounts in the description box, as always. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notifications of upcoming videos we post Monday through Friday. So, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.